Hey there, YouTube and CJ Holmes here. Well, finally, here's another episode in the epic of the Titanic wreck model build. Uh, I don't know if I showed last time that I uh, mounted the uh, stern section to the uh, display board. And I also completed the molds for the majority of the reciprocating engines. And I've come up with some castings. So here's a, here's a casting of the bed plates. And uh, here's one where I've cut off the forward low pressure uh, cylinder portions that broke off during the uh, the breakup of the ship and uh, those portions are in the debris field so uh, I created a complete bed plate set and then I just went ahead and uh, and cut it I don't know if you can see this or not but uh, took my dozuki blade And basically just sliced down and then sliced across to uh, remove the forward bed plate and ended up with this so three cylinders per side high pressure intermediate and low pressure and now what I need to do is cut the tank top uh, to uh, its uh, dimensions as the ship uh, lays at the bottom of the see it's not a straight uh, cut across there's some uh, jagged portions that uh, I'm going to try to be faithful to and so I'm going to take my uh, saw and uh, saw off uh, this uh, unused portion so here we go I'll just start it real quick loud noise okay and uh, then start to uh, start to cut away okay so you get the idea so I'm going to go ahead and uh, put this on pause and I'll cut uh, the rest of this out and we'll see you on the other side. Alrighty then, so uh, I've basically taken uh, this and turned it into this. And so now I'm going to start working with uh, the bed plate. It'll eventually end up on the... Uh, ship like this okay but uh, first I'm going to start uh, building up the reciprocating engines and uh, I have here a cup of uh, resin and I'm going to shake it up real good and out comes parts cool so what I have here are six of the uh, column supports And I have the uh, cylinders here. I have the uh, uh, damaged port side high pressure and the intact starboard side. And let me see, what else do I have? Um, I have the intermediate cylinders somewhere here. I got both intermediate cylinders and then I have the rear high pressure cylinders. Now I need to look at my orientation here to make sure that I'm doing things right. Cool. So <clears throat> what I want to do now before I cement the columns to the uh, bed plates is I need to make some cross heads. One thing that I've also done with the resin castings is I've uh, drilled out little hollows here so that the um, piston rod can go up into um, into the cylinders first what I need to do is make six cross heads and those cross heads are going to go 
inside the guides of the cylinders be uh, something like this okay so as the uh, pistons go up and down the cross heads go up and down and they drive the crankshaft I need to get some glue and a little bit of plastic to uh, spread some glue on and of course I need to open up the bottle of glue because it's clogged oh, take a needle and throw it in there and give me a nice little bit of glue and then just start putting the uh, bearings in place uh, to be strictly uh, accurate I should have bearings on the fore and aft side but the aft side isn't going to show at all so so here's an example of a bearing and um, crosshead yeah, let me see if I can fit that into a um, cylinder or into a um, column There it goes. Cool. All right, so let's look at the uh, Titanic itself. Let's see if we can find a photograph of the engines to show the positions of the uh, crossheads and of course I can't find it I'll meet you on the other side okay I finally found the photograph I was looking for and uh, you can see among the uh, rusticles and uh, the mess there's uh, one of the crossheads and here's uh, the starboard side, or the uh, port side. I hope I'm not mixing up my uh, my nomenclature here. Uh, but anyway, back to uh, business. This is the port side. This is a damaged high pressure cylinder. It looks like this um, rod is uh, in the down position. This one's farther up. So let's go ahead and and cement one in the down position just take a dab of cement and we'll fit it in the guides all right cool so there's one in the down position then what I'm going to do is take a bit of uh, plastic and uh, put it in there so I've got about that much to cut off saw that but anyway I've cut off a bit of plastic rod that's going to go in there and then let me find the port side damaged cylinder that's why I made the little hole so it will fit over it it's still a bit too long so we'll just cut off some more really don't need to um, drill those holes in the resin if uh, if I've cut these to proper length but um, I did it anyway very easy to uh, drill resin using a uh, brad point bit all right cool so that's going to be that right there all right so let me take that rod and put a little bit of glue on it come out come out all right
Okay, so there you go. That looks uh, that looks real nice. Now, what I next need to do on this uh, port side is fit uh, the uh, lower portion of this. And I've just got to kind of eyeball it here. So I'm going to just cut off a piece of plastic to what I think is about the right length. Okay. So that's going to go like this. And actually what I think I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and cement this column in place. And then I'll fit the uh, connecting rod to it. So there is the first column, and what I'm going to do also is I've uh, just cut out from some sprue uh, this round circle. That's going to be the end of the crankshaft. It needs to glue there, and we'll put it in place. center it if we can and so now we have that going for us might as well go ahead and do the same on this side this is just um, the round sprue I've just cut a couple of little pieces off put it in place Alrighty then. So now that I have that, I could potentially put this on next, but I'm not going to because what I want to do is get this connecting rod put in. Okay. And I'm going to cut off a good portion of that and get some nippers. That'll be easier to work with. Let's see how that works. Okay. How, how accurate am I? to take off a little more. I think the knife actually works better. All right. Just a bit more, so I'm going to sand it down and see how that looks. A little more. Let's see what happens here. I'm not real crazy about these tweezers. So I'm going to do something with this. Give it a little bit more positive. Of course, now I don't have any room to work. So, got to go back to the tweezers.
cut a little bit more. Now, if that doesn't work, I'll pause it and uh, and see you on the other side. But uh, I think I'm getting something approximating. It's probably a little bit too much, but let's see if the uh, if the glue will uh, make up for it. So um, there you go. I will probably fill that with uh, my trusty baking soda super glue combination, just right there on the bottom. Neatness is not a primary concern on this rack because, uh, as you've seen from the photographs, uh, it's just really a mess there. Cool. So now I've uh, filled in the gap and uh, looks pretty good. All right. I will do one more uh, column and crosshead. And uh, then I'll probably, uh, probably see you on the other side. So, in the meantime, uh, let me uh, go ahead and take a uh, little rod here, apply some glue, and find a bearing. The bearings I just punched out of uh, some plastic using a leather punch. You can do the same uh, same thing as I did with these um, pieces here, just by cutting out some pieces of sprue or round plastic rod, anything that you might have handy. But anyway, I just went ahead and punched out some uh, pieces. So this is needs to go up inside these guides and this goes high on the starboard side okay I'm looking at it and uh, not all the way to the top but but pretty close a bit of glue So that's a little bit higher there. And uh, take a piece of rod. And you know what? I actually have a little spare piece of, of rod here that I cut off uh, from the other side. So I'm gonna go ahead and use that, glue that in place with that. So there's that one, and here's uh, a good cylinder. I think I might cut off the end of this if I can. No, it doesn't want to. So I'm going to have to let it dry a bit. 
before I uh, cut it. In fact, you know what? I'm wasting my time with it. Let me just cut another piece. Very short. There we go. I think that's short enough. you in place. Cool. Now the cylinder will fit uh, on top of it. And I'm going to glue this in place. So already you can see the, the engines starting to take shape. And now time to uh, attempt to fit another uh, lower conrod. I think I'm going to taper that. The mold that I made has uh, little guide indentations in the crankshaft to uh, fit stuff. So let's try to be a little smarter about this. And uh, cut it like that. That's right. I forget that this doesn't fit in here. Almost just a little bit too long. Now let's see what happens. Hold on to it. Okay, I think that's where I want it. I think that's going to fit quite nicely. Take some glue. Alrighty then. So there you go. Let me uh, just touch that up with a little dab of glue and a tiny bit of baking soda. Done. All right, so there you go. So there are two, uh, two columns done. And I'm going to go ahead and cement the high pressure cylinders onto those.
just lining them up. There's the port side. And there's the starboard side. Cool. So you can see see the progress. And so then I'll just continue um, going farther aft with uh, each cylinder. And um, we'll see you on the other side. So I'm going to put it on pause, and um, hopefully I will have made sufficient progress so that you get a good idea of what the uh, engines are going to look like. Okay, here I just want to show you that I've put the cross heads in, and uh, now I'm going to start uh, assembling the uh, conrods and see you on the other side and here you can see the intermediate cylinder columns are in place and i'm just going to start to uh, continue working aft with uh, conrods and cylinders see you on the other side all right progress report i have all the columns glued in place and i just have to uh, put the last two uh, connecting rod things in place and then I'll uh, cement the cylinders. See you on the other side. Alrighty then, I have finished with the columns, the cross heads, the con rods, and the cylinders and uh, in the next video I'll be uh, installing some support structures made out of uh, square profile rod that'll be going between the columns and that will be supporting the valve gear. So uh, that's it for now. I've already run a bit uh, long. That's the uh, progress on the rec model. I'll bring my stern section up because I've already buried it in stuff. But uh, here's the idea, what we're uh, working with. All right. So there you go. That's going to be your, your engine room. So until uh, next time, uh, hope you enjoyed the video. Have a nice day.